This is a Durgod Fusion keyboard by Durgod. It's $100 on Kickstarter and its top features, in my opinion, it's its design, damn good wireless connection, and long battery life. This video is as honest as it can be. I never do reviews or showcases for money, never have. So if you ever see me excited when talking about like a product, it generally means I like it. If I don't, then I'll criticize it. That doesn't mean this product is 100% free of cons because there are some flaws. All right. I wanted to make this video before the Kickstarter campaign, but because campaigns generally answer a lot of questions, I waited. The Durgod Fusion at its core is a 65% wireless Bluetooth keyboard with Cherry MX switches that has a long battery life. And that's no joke. We'll talk about that later. The flash shell is $100. Other rewards have it at 110, 120. Two keyboards for 210 and three for 320. The first three are just different saving increments as time passes by. You have seven switch options, Cherry MX Black, Blue, Red, Brown, Speed Silver, Silent Black, Silent Red. The Speed Silver and Silent Black and Silent Reds are $10 more if you choose these. The color options are Steam, which is like a gray, black, and red. Original, which is a gray, white, and orange. And Navigator, which is the one that I have, and it being blue, white, and yellow. The yellow really looks more like an orange, really. When you join the campaign, you'll choose your switch and color options as the campaign ends in case you are sort of confused because maybe this is your first Kickstarter. All right, now, one of the things that makes this keyboard sort of worth it is its design. My sample is the Navigator. It's blue and has this retro style, very 80s-like. It's plastic all around, six rubber feet, and two levels of height adjustment. It has the Durgal logo on the left, and I kind of scratched mine. Uh, I don't know how that happened, so yeah, it's kind of I'm kind of sad about that. On the top right, we have the switch for wireless mode and its light indicators for caps lock, power, and configuration file in the middle. I'm not entirely sure what this is used for. Uh, maybe it's like for something to do with like programming or maybe like programming the key functions or something. In the box, we get a plastic cover, keycap puller, USB Type C to C, USB Type C to the normal one, a sticker, Velcro straps for the cable, obviously. And a mini mouse pad for your, um, I never really see these things come with like keyboard samples before. Maybe Dirt God is trying to tell us something. That, or maybe it's just used for drinks as a coaster. The USB cable is basic, not braided or coiled and fits snug into the left side of the keyboard. One important thing to note though, the size of the hole is a little bit specific. So these are the dimensions compared to one that didn't fit very well. It's very important if you have like a specified coil cable that you want to match with this keyboard. But the coolest aspect of this keyboard is this. There's this 2.4 Hertz adapter, which is hidden away inside the Durgod logo. I kind of wish 2.4 Hertz adapters and hiding it behind a magnetic logo was a lot more common. Yeah, and it is magnetic. It's satisfying to lift and watch it click in. But I'll talk about wireless very soon. I reviewed so many keycaps in different styles. These keycaps are PBT Cherry Profile Double Shot with three accented colors. Since it's 65%, you're going to get those 1U modifiers on the right side and the 1.75U for the shift. In terms of defects, there's none that I could find and the Legends alignment is great. Seeing that Durgod has made like a lot of keyboards, I really didn't see them messing up in the keycaps department. Switches are Cherry MX Red, my favorite in terms of MX switches. The keyboard isn't hot swap, which is a drawback for some. I personally wish there was a hot swap version. It doesn't seem like there is and will be anytime soon seeing and looking at their campaign. But dear God, please look into making one in the future. Because for me, that would be an instant cop. The stabs are actually lube, believe it or not, which is a plus. They sound great, no issues there. But again, if it were hot swap, then that means there would be like an easy way to change them to like original cherry stabs and then maybe slap in some, you know, loop switches. I think that would be amazing. For software programmability and macro function capabilities, I don't see any. Well, they do mention something about a DEZ software being supported with talks about a Durgod Zeus engine software in the campaign. I guess there is support for programming your keys and all that. And it's probably going to be there when everyone gets this keyboard in their hands. But one thing that the Fusion lacks is RGB or RGB backlighting. Whether the keyboard needed RGB inside of it or not, I mean, if we disregard RGB, I don't think Durgod would have been able to make this a 40 day battery, so they claim. With all that RGB, that would basically just take the keyboard's battery life away. You can connect this keyboard via wired or wireless with two devices using Bluetooth 5.0 or use its 2.4 adapter. To connect, hold FN plus Q or W, that's it. Obviously, you have to go through the whole pairing thing first, but after that, connecting is very easy. 
with the adapter is FNNE and R for wired mode. But what's better, Bluetooth or the adapter? In my opinion, it's clear as day. If you want an instant connection, use the adapter. The Bluetooth takes around two to six second ish seconds to connect, but with the adapter, it's like less than one second. I mean, it's like so fast. Waking it up from idle, coming back like a few hours, is just there waiting for you. But that's like not even it. The battery life is insane. Ever since I got this sample, I've been using it wirelessly for like more than a week, and I don't think it hasn't gone down that much. On the campaign, it doesn't really state how much milliamps it has, but looking around, it has to be more than your typical wireless keyboard, right? I mean, 40 days on a single charge? It kind of makes sense if you exclude RGB because with my significant uh, significant other, kind of sounds like I'm cheating or something. With my other keyboard or other wireless keyboard, it's on and has its brightness maxed out. I got like maybe one to three days max with that keyboard. That annoyed me, which is why I think I have it always connected most of the time. But with the Durgod Fusion, dude, it's literally all wireless, man. In the Kickstarter, it states that an ISO version or ISO version will be released in 2021 and that the Durgod Zeus engine software isn't compatible with Linux for those wondering. And even more questions were answered. Will your switch be lubed or unlubed? Also, if this gets popular enough, will you guys consider adding hot swap as an option? Thanks in advance. Hey Rocky, thank you for your support. Sorry, we won't consider it. Dude, I laugh so hard at this. It's like, will you make a hot swap version? No. And then they state that the switches are lubed. I can't really tell because I don't do a lot of lubing with switches, but I compared it to another MX Red keyboard that I believe aren't lubed. And it does sound like there's a lot less mechanical parts moving inside the switches on the Durgod Fusion. I saw in a video there are through holes for LEDs. Will they be functional if I solder my own LEDs into them? Thank you. Hey, we do not recommend to do this because it does not support modification. I don't mod much, but I found that interesting. Okay, look, I've only used wireless mode except maybe the first couple days, but it's still kicking. I think it was around 60 to 70% at the start, and I think it's in the 40s right now. The Fusion isn't RGB. The Fusion is not hot swappable. I wasn't able to test macro functions or any software, but from what I see, it is supported down the line with Durgot software. Stabs are lubed, it has a great case design, nice looking keycaps, great wireless, insane battery life. I personally would recommend this keyboard at the savings price. The only regret I have is not making this video earlier so you guys can get like a cheaper price. But then again, I wouldn't be able to tell you everything I know now. Is this thing worth $100? Yes. $110? Sure. $120? Okay. $200? <laughs> I'm not so sure about that one. That's that's kind of steep. But that's why this Kickstarter exists. Thanks to God for the opportunity and sending this sample out for a review and to the Durgot team that initially created this concept, I think a year ago, like in 2019. Durgot's keyboard has officially replaced my current after four months. Well, until it dies, of course. 40 days, we'll see. And if you guys want like a typing test or ASMR kind of video, click on this video to the right uh, for the Durgot Fusion typing test. It usually helps me a lot when you guys watch this when you're sleeping, you know, to give me more audience retention. That was a joke. Subscribe and have a good one.